In this video, I want to show you how you can create your own colored pattern designer series paper. What I did is um, I saw this on the Stampin' Success magazine and on a column on the side, and I thought, well, it's really how can I make that paper? I want I love that paper and I love the color. So what I did is I filled out a 12 by 12 in the not quite so navy, and I added a punch, and I just am made it as to cover up the entire page. Next thing I did is I went over to the paper fill and then I selected the day and night which is a download that you can purchase and I picked on pattern 7. And this technique works really well with all kinds of black and white um, pattern papers with any color. Next thing you do is you go over to your opacity and you minimize it to probably around 14 to 15 percent and that's how you create your own paper. Now from here you can build up your page or you can um, save it and put it into your folder as a JPEG. It looks really great. I wanted to show you with one other color that makes it kind of punch out. I'm going to change it to the rich razzleberry and you can see how any color really makes a, it's, itself as another pattern paper. On one of my other pages from December 08 page, somebody asked how I made the paper. Well, I don't have all the downloads yet of the pattern papers that have come out, so I took the real red, and what I did is I added another punch, just like I did before. Make it large. And then I went in and I found a similar color red that I did have with the new patterns. And of course, that was with the um, download that we received the new color patterns. And I picked the cherry cobbler wallpaper. And the next thing I did was I took this percentage down on the opacity down to 30% and cre it created the real red. Um, designer series paper that I don't have yet, but I plan to get. So if you're looking for something that you just need um, to change, you could also try this technique. So I hope you enjoy and creating your own colored pattern designer series paper.